Today we are in Arlington, Virginia, getting ready to check out a brand new modern house from VP Construction. This one has five bedrooms, four full baths, two half baths, no garage, but you have this long driveway for parking. There's also a roof deck and the home is about 5,143 finished square feet. It is currently listed for two and a half million dollars. And with that being said, let's start the tour. And if you'd like to set up a showing, if you have any questions, or if you're looking for something like this in your area, just reach out to me below and I would love to assist you. All right, here we go. So this is a pretty cool looking house, much different than some of the properties we've toured in the past. Uh, to our right is, this would be an office. Now somebody could definitely set it up as a bedroom. There's no closet, but that's actually not a requirement for Virginia. You just have to have uh, square footage and egress. Um, so you could always put a closet if you wanted to, but I think it makes a nice office. And this house actually has a lot of bedrooms. So this is kind of where we came in from right here. And then off to the left, we have the powder room. And then you also have the window right there. As soon as I started the video, the water company pulled up. So every time you try to shoot a video, something always, some obstacle. And we got one closet. We got a couple closets. And here to our right, we have the stairs going up and down. And then this is another closet. I guess this is kind of like the pantry area. And then right here is actually the laundry room. So you have these cabinets, this countertop, backsplash, and we got the sink. And then we got the two laundry units right here. It's a little window going out. And they're still doing a few touch-ups, but it's the property's about 98% done, according to my very specific math. So here we have the kitchen. Let me just back up so you can see the full kitchen here. Got this massive refrigerator. Could fit a lot of food in here. Got these cabinets and quartz countertops. Stove, dishwasher, you got this backsplash again with the GFCI outlets. And we got the big sink right here. So here is, this is an induction cooktop. So very open. Again, you got the trees in the background, so it has kind of a pleasant feel to it. And we have the gas fireplace, space for TV. And I'll show you the backyard. We'll walk out there as well, but very green, flat. And then you got some privacy with the neighbor's trees right there too. So this would be the living room area. And you got these premium floors. Get a look at that kitchen. Then to our right, we have the formal dining room. Nice light fixture. And you got a good amount of space here. So, so we got kitchen, living room, dining room, all kind of open to each other. And then this would be mudroom area. And 
course you gotta have the dog shower. So check this out. Maybe I should get down from this level, the dog's point of view, but pretty nice. Kind of enclosed a little bit, so that's nice. Plenty of space. You got a little cabinet up there. And then we got a couple of coat closets. And let's check out backyard area. So it looks like we have the Trex stairs going down. And here is this massive driveway. And the house looks beautiful on the side of it. And then this flat space to kick a soccer ball, do whatever you want, but really nice backyard. And this is Lion Park, so, you know, you're close to everything. You're close to Clarendon, you're close to the Metro, you're close to DC, grocery stores, you can walk everywhere. So yeah, the houses are a little bit closer to each other as well. But hey, you get to know your neighbors. So we actually have a few levels up top. So before we go upstairs, let's head downstairs. You have an entire suite down here, the separate entrance. And they're still uh, going to finish off these stairs. So the build, I was just talking with the builder. He was saying he's going to wait a little bit longer to finish off the stairs. So tall ceilings down here. Right off the stairwell, you have kind of a massive storage space, it looks like. And then to our right, we have you know, just the sump pump. And the builder was telling me with this house, they had to keep like, I think one wall. So it's pretty much 99% new construction. And then they had to keep one of the walls because of Arlington permits and whatnot. I think a lot of builders do that just because it can be easier. But anyways, here is the PEX uh, water system. And that basically doesn't freeze and it's a little bit easier to work with. And then we have some storage underneath here. So we'll make our way to, this could be you know, like a dining room for someone that lives down here. Cause you have this kitchen suite. Nice backsplash. Refrigerator, dishwasher. Another sump pump. You could probably put some shelves in there if you wanted to. And we have, that's a separate entrance. Here is the bedroom. So we got our egress window. Nice flooring. Pretty big closet. And then to our right, we have the full bathroom. It's not attached to the bedroom, but not bad at all. So it'd be kind of like the shared basement bathroom. Another big window right there. And you got a couple shelves to the right as well. So here's the separate entrance, just a few stairs. 
And then you can see the front yard up there as well. So you got the kitchen with the sink and dishwasher and refrigerator, the bedroom, this space right here. Then this would be more of the living area. And you got some storage, more storage, and we will head upstairs. So the top floor in this house is massive. You have a rooftop deck as well. So you wanna stay to the end of this video. That's the entrance. And as always, if you wanna set up a showing for this one, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. All my contact info is below. You can shoot me a text, email, phone call, whatever you prefer. All right, so we'll start over here. To the left, we have bedroom number one. And you can see we're already like pretty high up. You can see some of the other houses here. In this neighborhood, you kind of have an eclectic mix of new construction. You even have some Sears houses, some of the older Sears homes. Nice full bathroom with the tub. So yeah, you have the new construction, Sears homes, kind of everything in between. You see a lot of craftsman style. You see modern houses like this. This would be bedroom number two. Man, we got these fans cranking. And the bathroom with this one is the Jack and Jill bathroom. So we got a closet right here, decent sized closet, and sink number one, nice vanity, and then we have this pocket door to my left with the bathtub, nice cutout. And then on the other side, we have the toilet, towel bar. And then we have another pocket door right here, separating the space. You got the nice vanity, mirror, light fixture. And then we got our other closet for this bedroom right here. This is also a pretty good sized bedroom. You are at a little bit of an angle, just the way they built this, but plenty of space here. Let me show you the house from this side. And then the primary suite is to the left, but before we do that, let me just show you this hallway closet. And that's where we walked in from. And then we got the primary suite. So you got two closets. Closet number one, very good size closet. And we got closet number two, a little bit smaller, but still a pretty good size. Like I said, every house you got the one massive closet and then you got the other closet. But they're both pretty good size. And this would be the bedroom. It's, it feels pretty spacious. They don't have the staging furniture in here, but if they did, I think it would probably help a little bit. The fan, and then you got the dry bar. Take a look at this neighbor's house. That must be a scenic house. They must look out their window every day and just see green all around. 
that's what I like about Lion Park. You have, you're so close to all the urban amenities, but you kind of feel like you're in the suburbs and it's a very scenic neighborhood with all these trees and green around. So this would be the primary bathroom. Got the two sinks, the nice lights on the mirrors, light fixtures. And then we got the freestanding tub. And water closet with the pocket door. So let's get another look at this setup. Very nice. Oh, we almost forgot about the shower. Oh man, this is a cool shower. Ultra modern shower going on in here. Got the cutout. Look at these. Look at this tile. And then you got the frameless glass door. Pretty nice. Not bad. Very nice. All right. So we will head upstairs. This room is, you could use this upstairs room for a lot of things. I was talking with the builder. He said you could chop it up if you wanted, maybe make it into separate rooms. Right now it's just a wide open space. So check this out. This is massive. This might be the biggest upstairs I've been in in a while. I mean, probably ever. No, there's one house in Alexandria that had I don't think I've released the video yet, but you could have a, like a roller derby upstairs. This is just a great space to, you know, you could have parties up here. People could just run, our kids could run around. And then we got the half bath. It's a floating sink. Nice mirror, light fixture. Oh, that's what a furnace looks like. Yeah, look how much space you have. I mean, you can see some buildings off in the distance. Might even be able to watch the fireworks from here. So lots of space to entertain in this house. You got the light fixtures out here. You can see at the bottom, that's the drainage. And then you can see the different styles. You got small, a little bit bigger, much bigger, and then it goes back down to smaller. So, and the street's not too, not too busy either, so street parking shouldn't be too bad. All right, so let me know what you thought about this one and be sure to check out some other property tours on my channel.